turn your mouths to Romans chapter 3. That's where, that's where we'll be starting. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, in children's church, when I do, do a gospel time message, I use I just, a little bit of a skit. I don't have Brother Wayne come up to play God. <laughs> but he is the man of God in this church. Now, it says, all sin. Now, what is sin? There's two ways to describe sin. Sin is doing what God tells you not to do. But God says, don't steal. If you steal, that's sin. Right. But the other side is not doing what God tells you to do. Like God says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. If you don't keep the Sabbath day holy, that's sin. And so, well, all have sinned. Now, Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Our Lord. All right. If we die without Christ, go to hell. But it's only through Christ that we get to heaven. Now, at a death of a Christian, spirit and the soul go up to heaven. (laughs) 
body. This, but then, at the rapture, it reunited. reunited. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that is what the death is. Now Romans five eight, for God committed His and you know, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ, and who's Christ? Who's Jesus? He's the Son of God. And in Romans nine. Or is it Romans 10? Yeah, Romans 10. Verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. down to first thing. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But the next verse, verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. If you haven't accepted Christ, on over to hell. Now, I'm going to go to a passage in Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse night. Eighteen. Yet, over yeah, verse eighteen. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, for thou hast delivered thy soul. If you have accepted Christ, hey, you're on your, your way to heaven. But, the reason he's still on here, here on earth is to witness to everyone. Because you don't know if they're saved or lost. And the judgment seat of Christ. He's just going to see what you've done. Have you witnessed to friends, family? Like, even that way, right? It's own judgment. Some would have never heard the gospel. not God's fault. He has still Christians to go. And that is Moses from Ezekiel. So if you haven't trusted the Christ, hey, except Christ, this is the only way to heaven. And if you have accepted Christ, Are you taking the challenge from Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 18 and 19? 